Hello all, welcome back to the next series. Uh, so in the last series we have s uh, started on st uh, knowing how to read a data sheet. So I'll just go back to that slide. So here we have talked that uh, there will be a pinout that will be mentioned in the data sheet where uh, the pinout uh, talks about the individual pins that are there on the IC um, or any um, component. <coughs> Now you see that uh, um, th this is categorized as inputs and outputs. So now you know what what are the inputs, what are the outputs for that specific uh, um, uh, device. So now back further and explaining, uh, going further and explaining on how to understand um, these inputs. So <coughs> here you see that uh, we have replicated again the same uh, pinout here. So you see that there is a voltage plus, voltage minus uh, in the op amp terminal G we call it a, a non-inverting input, inverting input and then um, offset null. So these are all the um, inputs that are uh, being provided uh, to the op amp. Now as you know the pinout, the next step would be to know what are all the um, what what are the <coughs> maximum um, voltage that can be applied at the input of these uh, devices. So let us assume when I say inverting input, what is the maximum input that can be provided? When I say V plus, what is the maximum voltage that can be given? So that will be present in the data sheet majorly. These are all the design considerations that is what you have to consider when you are uh, designing your circuit. So <coughs> the next slide talks about uh, um, the, the specifications. Uh, when we say specifications generally the, the, the IC or the device that you selected will have two kinds of specifications. One are the operating conditions. Operating conditions is like uh, um, the conditions where you use the device normally and the second kind of uh, <coughs> specifications that will be mentioned in any data sheet are the absolute maximum. Like let us assume you have a commercial product in your hand um, and then commercial product has mentioned that you have to give 5 volts. Sometimes if by mistake if you give 6.5 also it operates. So that means beyond your normal operating voltage of 5 volts that is mentioned there, there will be something beyond that that can be given which we call it as a tolerance in general terminology. So. <coughs> that indicates the maximum uh, absolute maximum operating condition so that is what you see here so now when i say the the supply voltage no nominal operating condition is 15 volts min and max is 22 which is the recommended operating condition the supply voltage again so as he has mentioned maximum here so th uh, sometimes the absolute maximum could be 24 or 25 kind of so uh, some other data sheets might have a higher value. Uh, so <coughs> the absolute maximum is like the maximum operating condition. So, so like if you give 24 volts here uh, to your device, um, then definitely your device might get damaged. So that's what absolute maximum meant. These are the maximum operating conditions beyond which your uh, circuit should not operate. And then again, <coughs> there will be several other specifications as you are as we are right now restricting to inputs and then uh, mm, the recommending operating conditions will uh, uh, skip these ESD ratings and thermal information we'll discuss in another and then when we say um, uh, recommended operating conditions so when you take all the pins um, the, the, um, uh, there, there will be different uh, parameters operating parameters um, uh, those operating parameters is, uh, are mentioned in electrical characteristics. So op amp you might have learnt in economics input offset voltage, output of input offset voltage adjustment, input offset current, input bias current, um, output voltage swing. So the uh, and then the supply current um, and at what temperature. So these are all the basic electrical specifications that will be mentioned in a data sheet. So you need to understand the definition of each and every parameter and then use it in your circuit design. So let's talk about this in next video.